All right, so I've been pretty busy uh, trying to get a new image of Dragon OS uh, Focal put together. Uh, also have a new uh, image out for the Raspberry Pi Dragon OS Pi 64. It's been out for a little bit. Uh, working on a image for the Jetson Nano, and then uh, I did some new uh, firmware for the Pluto and the uh, Ant SDR. So I'm pretty busy, but um, I just wanted to show something pretty quick. Uh, I think it's really super interesting, and uh, so we're going to use a combination of the Dragon OS uh, focal build that I'm working on, and then the existing uh, Dragon OS Pi 64 build. And uh, so uh, somebody uh, cued me in on a pretty cool application here, and then I'll show their page here in a second. They got an excellent write-up on how to do all this, but the uh, hope I'm saying it right, the Jero uh, application that I have up here. Uh, can be used with the RTL SDR uh, through another application I'll show here in a second but the whole purpose of this is using a software defined radio um, software here to demodulate and decode arrow signals uh, I did ACARS before and uh, but this is going to be uh, used like it says by planes beyond VHF so I have a RTL SDR uh, version 3 uh, in this case actually plugged into the Pi I'm going to do a little different here, and then uh, I have the uh, older patch antenna uh, out a window here that's uh, open up behind me here. So nothing really spectacular as far as the setup goes, uh, but uh, in this quick demonstration, it, it uh, works just fine. So the source code and uh, Jero is installed, um, J Arrow uh, is installed uh, in both the Pi and the Dragonos Focal build. You'll see we'll get a uh, interface that's going to come up like this. You can read all about it here, which I highly encourage because there's a lot of information there on what's all going on. And then to get the SDR to work, uh, we're going to use this uh, separate project uh, that's going to use the RTL SDR and uh, ZMQ to feed the audio over to the, the graphical user interface and allow us to um, uh, pick the different... Uh, messaging uh, that's coming across the ZMQ and if I miss anything this is the page that I'm referring to so the ballgeek.github.io uh, forward slash uh, dragonos.html I'll put that in the description there uh, but uh, this walks you through how to get everything set up if you want to run it all on a Raspberry Pi uh, headless uh, through VNC the whole the whole nine yard everything is there uh, so some of this I did do uh, for this demonstration, uh, but I'll leave it uh, to this page here uh, for you to refer to to get your Pi all set up if you choose to do it like this. All right, so I'm going to minimize a second here. Uh, this is the uh, Dragon. This is actually the laptop, and uh, I do have a, another VNC over to uh, this is the Raspberry Pi. So if you follow the directions on the uh, the github.io page that I was referring to you'd, you'd probably have something like this you can just as equally uh, SSH in. I'm going to change it up a little bit though and uh, what we're going to do is uh, in the in the descriptions everything is running on the Pi itself and uh, I could just as equally do that here but uh, we're going to change it up a little bit and we'll do the RTL TCP on the Raspberry Pi because I have it closer to the window and um, well you could put the IP address uh, that the Pi has I'm just sticking it on 0000 for right now just to make it easy I'll do a dash T which uh, should enable the bias T let me think yeah well, that should be about all we need so that's running on the Pi we can see it activated the bias T We'll come back over to the laptop, and uh, in both builds, uh, I've stuck the source code uh, that you'll need in the user source directory, and there's a sample INI um, uh, folder here that's got some settings in it. I'm going to pick the SDR98W, and uh, since it's in the user source, uh, we'll use sudo nano to edit it or you could 
install app get gedit if you like a graphical user interface and use sudo but all I've done here is uh, comment out the tuner gain and put a remote gain here and specify the remote RTL uh, IP address which is uh, shown uh, on the SDR receiver page somewhere here so you can see the remote RTL and the gain is pretty important I got a little bit of a delay here all right and then you'll notice the uh, the topics uh, for ZMQ are down below here and so we're looking at uh, the VFOs you can see the topics VFO 01, 02, 03, so on and so forth. So that's what you're going to subscribe to. This is already pre configured and set up. I don't claim to know every single uh, part of this, but this is enough to get you going. So, what we'll do is on the uh, laptop here, on the local end, I guess you'd say, we'll do uh, SDR receiver, we'll do dash S for the sample file or for the configuration file and so I already uh, enabled the bias T on the RTL TCP so I don't need to do that I can see the IP addresses there and I should be able to start the SDR we'll see it uh, connects if you want to see what it looks like on the Raspberry Pi you can see I've connected come back to the desktop and you should uh, get something like this. Like I said, I don't, I don't have like a really clear line of sight. I've just got the uh, antenna laying over there, but it looks pretty, pretty good. And then we'll come over here, and we'll go to ham radio, and we'll open up the uh, graphical user interface, where uh, pretty much all I've had to set is under the settings here, come down and. Uh, enable the ZMQ audio and then those topics that are in that configuration file this is where you can specify that here and you can open multiple of these windows and you can also open these uh, this this application from the command line so that and I'll, I'll just go ahead and show that we can look at uh, so if we did uh, settings or a name Let's see, let me try, let's see. Actually, no, I'm sorry, you could do a configuration file. Uh, these names here are what will go at the top of the window here, which will line up with what you have in the configuration settings, which I've got here, VFO09. Now, I've not really played around with uh, really any of the other uh, settings here, but I can see that I can, get the uh, information across here I leave it run long enough uh, got some information from aircraft if you're doing this all in the pie you probably want to mute the audio and uh, lower some of the uh, FFT settings and maybe even the constellation to save some CPU power but I've just got this running on a laptop so uh, it's been pretty fine or pretty good uh, let's see what else uh, you can open up the plane log and uh, this will give you additional information so. again you can have multiple uh, windows open multiple you can cover every VFO that's listed there Another one here. And then, you know, I could have renamed this to a uh, different VFO if I wanted to. So, uh, I'm not going to steal all the thunder from the page here. I just wanted to briefly point this out. And that's uh, yet another application that's currently in the Raspberry Pi build. Uh, as soon as I get done with this ISO, it'll be in the laptop build. And um, 
yeah, I'll just keep this short. That's pretty much what I wanted to show. So, all right, some pretty exciting stuff coming up, though. So hang in there. All right, thanks. Bye.